We have a relationship between Cindy, who's working four more than five times as many cousins. Oh, excuse me. This is a relationship between Cindy and Kathy. K. So C and K. And Cindy has four more than five times as many cousins as Kathy. And this got cut off, but which expression represents how many cousins Cindy has compared with Kathy? So Cindy has, I'll use the equal sign, um, whatever Kathy has, she has four more than that, and four more than five times what Kathy has. So whatever Kathy has, Cindy has four more than five times the cousins that Kathy has. And we're only interested in using the expression, not the full equation. So if we look at our choices, H is the same thing as we wrote, just in a different order. They use the commutative property, and four more than five times the amount of cousins Kathy had is the same thing as four more than five times the number of cousins that Kathy had. And in these other examples here, F tells us that we have five more than four times the number of cousins Kathy had. G tells us that we have four less than five times the number of cousins Kathy had. And J is a little bit confusing, but we, we use the distributive property. We get 5k squared, this times this, and then plus 20k. We haven't really talked about these type of problems yet, but 5 times 4 gives me 20, so this is 20k's. This would mean that Kathy has, Cindy has 20, well, I guess I would just word it from left to right. Cindy would have 5 more, 5 times more than the amount of cousins squared that Kathy has, plus 20 times the number of cousins that Kathy has, which is not even close to what we need.